the way I explain my job, uh, I'm, a, I'm a performer. And then they ask me, oh, what do you do? Like, I'm a circus performer. And then they keep asking, like, well, I'm a hair hanger. I hang by my hair. I'm Daniela Bim. I'm the hair suspension artist for Volta Cirque du Soleil. I got started in art as a dancer, and when I was 18, I decided to try something new, like the circus, just to diversify my work. And then I started learning more aerial and acrobatics. Suspension is painful when you're learning, but every discipline in the circus is. It took me about three to four months to be able to bear all my weight only in my scalp. Also for my body to get stronger, my neck to get stronger, my hair follicles to get stronger, my whole spine. It's very important to respect that time of learning so you don't hurt yourself. Nowadays, I'm not sure if I don't feel it anymore, if I got used to. Uh, if I got stronger, but on stage I'm not in pain at all. I'm not suffering, I promise you that. <laughs> my day would start with my breakfast, uh, hopping into my bike and coming to the circus. And then I play around two hours of my trombone. I like to do things to complement myself as an artist, as a person, but they're not physically so demanding. We usually have rehearsals around like one hour, depending on the discipline you're performing. I'm a fan of the people that I work with. So I've always tried to watch from behind the curtain a little bit, and I still get surprised with every movement they do. We have to deal sometimes with people being out of the show or injury, so we have to be prepared to adapt the act to whatever circumstances. Sometimes missing a person, sometimes uh, a different uh, technical situation. So never one show that's exactly the same as the other. We're always adapting. <laughs> For my act, I gotta be flexible and strong at the same time. So I'm waking up my joints and making my muscles remember that they have to be strong and engaged. Depending on the discipline you're performing, so if I'm doing every hoop, I will spend uh, two hours or an hour and 30 minutes stretching and spinning and hanging. What it takes to be a performer, it's much more than just um, the physical level because, yeah, we gotta be strong, we gotta be flexible, we gotta sustain a routine of so many shows. But the most important part of it is for sure the mental level. We have to do shows sad or happy or sick, and for sure mentally you have to be very stable. It takes about 45 minutes to do the whole makeup. This is the time where I calm down, I put my music on, I concentrate for the show. It's my preparation uh, among my warm-up with my body, but mentally this is a very important moment for me. They have to be placed in the right place, otherwise the wrinkles, like the way you, the face moves, they all fall. <laughs> it's a very important part. One strain of hair is very weak, so the, the trick in my act is to get all the hair together so it's strong. And I spend like 25 minutes, 30 minutes doing a set of knots that allowed my hair to sustain my whole weight. It's only a metal ring and a rope.
People always think like, oh, your act is beautiful, but there's so many people involved in my act to make it happen. I have uh, people calling me that know my act and know exactly the time to put up and down and people uh, pressing a button so the motor would work. I have to trust that they did their job so I can do mine. That's a big thing, a lot of trust. <laughs> Before I go on stage, is it changes every day, you know. Sometimes I'm a little bit more sad or sometimes I'm way happier. So I try to calm down and relax and breathe and prepare to connect with like almost 3,000 people that I have to give all this energy. So I need to be very, very calm. I cannot do the same thing every day because I'm not the same every day. So I use that to make my act more real. So it's not just a choreography, a repetition every day. It makes it more fresh. Circus is not about being someone else. It's about being you and, and showing yourself the way you are with all your fears, desires and that's what makes it so special. It's about being you in front of so many other people. Every day is a different reaction, like screams or, or even like laughing. When they applaud and they show me that they really like the act, I feel like, okay, you did your job today, you may go home. They like it, they are with you, they are clapping, they are here.